CompTIA Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.3 Compare and Contrast Protocols for Wireless Networking. Wireless Channels. In this video, we will further break down the 2.4 GHz band and the 5 GHz band into wireless frequency channels. Imagine tuning into a radio station where each station is set to a specific frequency for clear reception. Similarly, in wireless networking, a wireless frequency channel is a designated band of frequencies used for transmitting and receiving data, each separated in order to prevent interference and ensure smooth communications. In wireless computing, we primarily deal with two frequency ranges, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz ranges. When it comes to the 2.4 GHz range, it is divided into 14 separate channels, each 22 MHz wide, with typically only channels 1 through 11 being available for use in most countries. This range is widely used due to its compatibility with numerous devices and its ability to penetrate solid objects, offering a good range. A key aspect of the 2.4 GHz band is the width of its channels. Since each channel is 22 MHz wide, and the frequency separation between each channel is only 5 MHz, adjacent channels overlap. This overlap can lead to interference and degraded wireless performance. However, the following channels in the 2.4 GHz range, labeled as channels 1, 6, and 11, are uniquely spaced so that they do not overlap with each other. By using these non-overlapping channels in areas with multiple wireless networks, such as densely populated residential or commercial areas, interference can be significantly reduced, ensuring more stable and efficient wireless communication. Now with the 5 GHz band, we experience faster data transmissions and less signal interference. This band, depending on your country, will have 20 plus non-overlapping channels available for use, with each channel being 20 MHz wide. However, through channel bonding, these 20 MHz channels can be merged to form wider channels of 40, 80, or even 160 MHz. This channel bonding process enhances data throughput, making it ideal for applications that require high bandwidth. With these frequency bands, it is also important to understand that various regions around the world have distinct regulations and restrictions on these frequency ranges. This is primarily to manage and minimize interference between different wireless services. Additionally, these regulations are in place to ensure public safety by preventing disruption in critical communication services, such as those used by emergency responders. These regulations may include broadcast power limits or channel restrictions, and adhering to these regional regulations is essential for the optimal and legal operation of wireless networks and devices. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.